Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and pray as we come to God. And of course, today uh, is our fourth day of our church's 30 days of prayer. Uh, we will find ourselves today in Daniel chapter 6 and verse 4. And we're praying and asking God to help us grow in our faithfulness to Him. Let's pray together, shall we? Father, we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, our prayer is that you would help us today. Uh, honor and glorify Christ, our Savior, in all, the, in all things whatsoever we do. Uh, Lord, we ask that you'd give us uh, uh, the help we need to grow in the area of faithfulness in our lives. And Lord, may we learn from Daniel here today uh, what uh, all of this looks like. And so, Father, we love you. We pray for your help now. Lord, we pray that you would help your children, this church, enjoy personal revival. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Daniel chapter number six. Daniel chapter number six. <clears throat> so the Lord has done a great work here in Daniel's life. Uh, he has been moved from, from Israel, from Judah, uh, to uh, Babylon uh, under Nebuchadnezzar. The kingdom has now changed hands. And uh, the Bible says here, uh, beginning in verse number 1 of chapter 6, it pleased Darius to set over the kingdom and 120 princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, uh, that the princes might give account unto them, and the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. And so you find from Daniel's life uh, that God has honored him. Uh, Daniel has uh, faithfully lived for Christ. He and his three friends, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they've already come through the fire. And God has, God has guided them and, and helped them. And, and now uh, Darius, the king of Persia, has preferred da uh, Daniel above all the other rulers uh, in his within his realm in his kingdom, and the Bible says in verse number four. Then the presidents uh, and princes sought to find occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, and so they're looking for fault. They're trying to find some uh, something that they can criticize and condemn Daniel for, but they cannot find it uh, in his even in his uh, just uh, practical life, uh, in his day to day living, the things that necessarily don't pertain. Uh, to the Lord, but may I tell you, uh, even even uh, Paul in Colossians chapter three tells us that everything we do, we do in service to Christ, and he says here in verse number four, but they could find none occasion nor fault. Notice, for as much as he was faithful, would you note that statement in your Bible? For as much as he was faithful, neither was there any error or or fault found in him. He says, then said these men. We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except it, uh, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. The only thing they could criticize Daniel for was faithfully living for God, uh, praying, uh, doing what was necessary uh, for in his religion uh, there with Judaism. And Christian, what is can are you faithful to the Lord? Do people look at you as that as that as that being a flaw? I I pray that God would help me in my life grow in my faithfulness to Him, that the the world that looks on uh, would you know they would not be able to find fault with me at all, except that I faithfully live for God. If that's the worst thing someone can say about me, well, praise the Lord. I'm thankful for that, and uh, may, I pray that that's your the desire of your heart as well. But on this day, May the 2nd, as we, as we move toward Revival Week, I want to encourage you uh, to pursue uh, faithfulness to God in your life. If you're faithful to God, every other area of your life will be as it ought to be. And so may God help us uh, be faithful to our Lord today. Father, we thank you uh, for your faithfulness to us. The Bible says, Lord, many times that God is faithful and Lord, in response, we ask that you'd help your, us, your children, grow in our faithfulness to thee. And so, Lord, may, uh, may you help us in every facet of life to give you preeminence. 
Help us live faithfully for our Savior, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. As always, it's an honor to have you. We're praying for you, and Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow at noon. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.